Welcome back, Raccoon players! If you want to make compelling quests, fantastic concerts, or just make a more engaging experience in your rooms, we have holotars that you can record to direct players, tell a story, film a movie, or put on a performance to entertain your guests. And here's how you set up a holotar. To get started, we kind of want a holotar over here to point players into this direction. We can do that by getting our maker pen. So go ahead and open up your watch menu. Then go to your backpack over here and then go ahead and select maker pen. Just go ahead and grab your maker pen there. Pull up your maker pen menu and go to open palette, go to props, and then you're gonna go to dynamic props, right? Just right down here. Just move over a page and then the holotar projector is what you're looking for. So this is what it is. Let's go ahead and place that in place and then open up our maker pen menu again. We're just going to level that to the ground. I'm just gonna bring down the arrow by selecting the top arrow there and just setting it on the ground there. Pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and close this and now I'm gonna drop my maker pen. So here is the holotar projector. We have the record new holotar with the big red button here. Let's go ahead and select the button here and now it's counting down to one. This is our holotar. Hello, come over here. If you wanna start the quest, Select the start button, and then head to the platform. Good luck on your mission. Now, well, we're just gonna go ahead and save. Hello. All right, there's my holotar. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it into place here. I'm just gonna move this into place. I'm gonna rotate this into place. There we go. Kinda want it to view at the player here. There we go. So now that we have our holotar projector all set up, we kind of want to hide the holotar projector. And we can do that by going to its settings. So let's go ahead and open up our maker pen menu again, and then go to our configure settings right on our maker pen menu, and then select the holotar. When we select the holotar uh, projector, we can hide the projector. We can always face the viewer. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. So the holotar will always face the viewer and we can always delete the holotar data to do a new recording. Now that we hid the projector, you can only see the projector when holding the maker pen. So when you drop the maker pen, it is no longer there. But let's go ahead and pull up our maker pen menu again and let's go over a couple other things. Now, if I want the holotar to pop up a little bit further away, what we can do is open up our maker pen menu here and then select wire. When we select wire, uh, we can see all the gadgets. So let's go ahead and uh, just hover over these. We have play and then we have stop. So if we want the holotar to just keep uh, playing over and over again, we can just hook it up to a variable chip and give it a variable of one. Or what we could do is hook it up to a button or a trigger zone. Uh, so when a player enters the trigger zone, the holotar will start playing. So what we can do is just, let's go ahead and do that. Let's open up the maker pen palette here and then go to gadgets. Let's go to other gadgets. Let's look for a trigger volume. There we go. Let's go ahead and select a trigger volume. I'm gonna turn on the grid with the world grid here. There we go. I'm just gonna rotate this into place. Turn off my world grid. And then scale. So any players that enter into this zone, the holotar will play. So I'm gonna cover this pretty much big area here. And then I'm gonna select my wire again and then hover over these. So when entering zone, total currently in zone, and when exiting zone. So we want to do it when players are entering the zone, the holotar will play. All right, so let's go, let's give that a try. So when you approach the trigger zone. Hello. Oh, over here. Thank you. If you want to start the quest, select the start button and then head to the platform. Good luck on your mission. I can't wait to see what you guys do with these hollow tires. But remember, be creative and give your rack room best. And if you like these videos, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in rack room.